Fortnite has had hundreds of Easter eggs throughout the years. And today we're going to react to 100 of the most interesting ones. And a huge shout out to Top 5 Gaming for putting this list together. The Family Guy crossover brought us the giant chicken. Use him with a cape Look, and his tail gets This is the biggest skin in the game. I did not know that his tail finals, gets shrunk with a cape. The winners, except this wasn't your ordinary confetti. It was llama heads. Really? I didn't know that because I wasn't there. Comes out at the weirdest moments, like when you're doing the gritty. Oh my god. Bad, you might hear a familiar sound. Wait, did they really use a Breaking Bad door sound opening? Until you visit Pizza Pit, a closer look at the menu, and you realize that Tomato Head is charging $70 for bread rolls. Bro, what? it down with a $99 coffee to wonder In this economy, bro? A good value is the Beast Fang Pickaxe. This is the only harvesting tool that gives you three items for the price of one, letting you decide between a regular pickaxe, a dual wield, and a spear with separate Wait, that's actually kind of sick. What the hell? Did you know there's a way to create a secret cost? Cosmetic wheel, you just need a ton of built in emotes. With the right combination of outfit, pickaxe, and back bling, Fortnite activates the bonus wheel. If you have card drop equipped, pay Wait, attention what? to it. And this might seem like a regular emote, but it's secret. I didn't even know about the bonus wheel. Depending on your banner, it'll display a different icon. Okay, I know about this. It. So, yeah, you can throw Peter Griffith cards around. Crayon That's cool. Royale might be deleted, but it was useful for one thing confirming the speed of Fortnite's battle bus. Over the years, fans have tried to figure this out, doing extreme math and equipment just to measure its speed but in the settings the we got too much time on our hands if this is what we're doing bus officially flies over the map at 50 meters a second or interesting 111 miles per hour crazy links is a pretty og poi but that doesn't stop it from having crazy detail the entire thing is accurate to real golf courses in fact you could follow the i remember playing golf when they added the toys one through nine that was a good Not time man for super speed so of course most people will miss the secret in his emo did you catch it? No. Yes, while Flash is busy eating a burger, he is also reading a comic that Epic designed just for a few seconds. It's a custom food wow. comic, which even has the Party Royale map for some reason. What's Party Royale doing Royale there, bro? Were essential to the story quests, but a ton of people walk straight past them. Well, if you ping their location, the game would say, Huh? Yeah, I'm, I'm equally as confused here. Fortnite they just forget no to tag it? To this, but if you change Hades edit style, it doesn't just affect the outfit color. But forming his built-in emote, you'll quickly realize it adapts to the choice you bro, make. Bro, I didn't even know Hades had these different edit styles, bro. I gotta it's check all my skins. Experiences making custom POIs, so it's a block. The stone slab was secretly the creative logo. Oh, I didn't even know that. What the hell? Not realizing this makes zero sense. Venom himself admits this. He has got you have never seen. Only other symbiotes like Rai could pull this off. It's kind of the whole plot of the film. Uh oh. Yeah, I guess in Fortnite, anything is possible. Mega City is one of the most detailed POIs we have ever had. Yep. Even the rain was next gen, with water literally flowing down the side of the building. I mean, that's why the models. FPS in Mega City was so low. <laughs> Remember the free guy emote that was given out to players? Well, thank goodness it was free because this might be the laziest emote of Fortnite. At the GDC presentation from 2019, fans noticed that Epic were showing off an all too familiar your animation. You can see as she oh. points, the claw is open. One of our first storyline outfits is Ape, <laughs> and while we know him as a plain robot, at least it was free. Style where he's just wearing green pants for some reason. What? Never Wait. came out, and to make it more confusing, the only time this appeared was during a marshmallow concert. Interesting. In the days, instead of designing entire loading screens, Fortnite would just get concept art for outfits and weapons and put those in battle passes instead. This happened throughout the entirety of Chapter 1. I mean, I do no miss the concept art. I think it's interesting. The cube trailer has an interesting mistake which only exists for a couple seconds. Throughout, you'll see Torin just running around fighting, except for one shot when she has to rescue a teammate. Army. Very weird, right? The skull mask looks way different than what Oh, we're yeah, yeah. What's going on That's here? Because this is the censored Fortnite China version somehow making its way into the shot. Now that How did that happen? Fields, I can never unsee it. As you probably know, the original BR map was designed by a tiny team of devs, which explains why Anarchy Acres is literally the same POI with the buildings rearranged. Yeah. In the same year, the game was a massive craze, leading international soccer players like Antoine Griezmann to celebrate their World Cup goals like this. 
Nah, that's actually crazy. So much. He literally got a custom Fortnite chain, a setting a bro. What? Twenty k. Jimmy Chimpansky is a Soviet era astronaut. So you're probably wondering what he wrote on his arm. Is it an important message about the moon? A memory of his life's work? Well, it actually translates to "get off my lawn." So he's a cranky old man, I guess. Speaking of battle pass characters, Jules is extremely popular, but a lesser known fact is hiding on her drum gun. It says F equals M A, which is new in second law of motion. Yeah. To make things even cooler, Jules' own name has a double meaning. As Midas' daughter, it makes sense that she'd be named Jules, you know, kind of like the treasure. But it's also a unit of Wait. energy, which totally adds up considering her owl is called Ohm. As for a oh. hidden name, there's a crossover we really should have predicted. For months, people were trying to figure out what weird object was in the files, although we probably should have known it was Stranger things. Stranger Things, not exactly the hardest code name to crack. We Are they kind of dragging the Stranger Things, like chapter the final season? There's a huge POI named Command Cavern. Or did that already come out? Yayo had a gigantic vault door. No, I don't think it did. Wait, did we ever figure out what was inside here? By these noises, so we worked to figure out what was lurking behind the vault. The theories were crazy. Was that was a good theory. A new IO boss, maybe the reveal of a new season. But I guess we'll never know as Epic moved on without. Bro, they us. didn't tell us. Crazy, bro. Chariot is a glider, which seems pretty self-explanatory. Except when you go into your locker and decide to view your umbrellas, it doesn't go away. So a little mm. obvious, this is not an umbrella, but I guess Fortnite thinks otherwise. Okay. Interesting. Plus, a funny glitch. Players are more confused watching Travis Scott's concert. It's always fun to look back on old events until you pay close attention with someone wearing an insignia back bling. This was a Fortnite China exclusive, which doesn't exist anymore. Wait, how is he wearing it? You're definitely familiar with show your style, the classic sentence that every rap gets. Well, not all of them. In chapter two, season five, the battle pass was full of items like the pancake posse, which was the most important meal of the day, and Wildheart, whose colors desire combat. They started writing descriptions in the battle pass that just gave Gave up and never did it again. I mean, they keep releasing new stuff. It's one less thing to do. Limited time. Well, that was kind of ironic considering it was the only one to not get vaulted for the whole of chapter one. And I am never going <laughs> to unsee the mistake with the emote wheel. If you check out the bottom, the controls are all typed out in three different fonts and none of them are the same. Why epic? I also what? I know why Silver Surfer's rap has been ready for almost 1400 days. This is fully complete and ready to drop. And despite the fact. Silver oh, that's such Surfer a clean rap. Over a hundred times, it never releases with them. Every so often. I guess they canceled it. The news feed telling us to get social. Well, you're busy reading how to add friends with the sidebar look closely at the image you can see peely and jones playing together as a duo one of the best partnerships in Fortnite. <laughs> and i don't even know how this mistake happened but in season eight hypernova dropped in the store except his back bling looked super different to his design it was a sunflower which made no sense wait that's so not even the right to realize back this bling. was not his back bling at all epic put the wrong one in the set oh, oh my there, god they let players keep the sunflower for free that's cool own red nose raider things could have been very different Different. In the first holiday trailer, fans noticed her running from a snowball launcher, except under her shirt, you could spot some kind of turtleneck. Totally mm. clashed with the rest of the outfit, and clearly this design was dropped as it never saw the light of I day. I see, I see. Did you know that in the early days of chapter one, your skins would lip sync the voice chat? Oh yeah, I remember that. Oh God, the Fortnite characters talk when you talk. <laughs> why, did, why did they drop this? They should have kept this. One of the battle passes we've ever had was the Midas season, and part of that is because of the cutscenes. Every time you were introduced to a new character, they would have an entire opening. Most of them were the same for everyone, except for Brutus. Depending on which style you chose, Ghost or Shadow, it would change his animation. Oh, cool. I don't even remember these cutscenes. I'm not even gonna lie. I don't remember them at all. Events have always been shrouded in mystery, but their code names have a pretty simple answer. Operation Skyfire was known as Kiwi. Riftor was called Buffet, while Zero Crisis was Yogurt. There's an ongoing. Are they a little here. random? Foods. These are actually the exact thing the devs were eating that day for lunch. You might not realize this because rarities were hidden, but there's a brand new series in Fortnite which nobody is talking about. When you go in the item shop and select a car crossover like McLaren or Lamborghini. Look in the corner. It shows their exclusive rarity. Ah, I see. It's of blueprints for every build. When you equip your paper and pencil, the three building materials will actually appear on the blueprint in front yeah. of you. The native a lot of people knew this, I think. See. If you own the Mako glider, consider yourself I do. extremely lucky. This was Why? meant to be the rarest glider in Fortnite, only being sold in the season shop by reaching level 25. Yeah, this is only available in 2017, the first season. Of I the have game. this. Yet when they introduced the item shop, Epic messed up. They accidentally put this in the 
the store for one day. Which Everyone is like got mad. A renegade Raider in here or something. It was a huge disaster. I'd rather get my hands on Fortnite magazine, especially the edition Deadpool has. Kind of just because it aims Peely as the banana of the year. I guess there's really not that much competition though. But Zeus Fortnite loves Peely. Like heart locket to his belt they put him in everything. Closed. But thanks to replay mode, you can look inside and see a picture of Aphrodite, his daughter. It's That's crazy because like you can only see it opens. in replay Warren's mode. To find this, and it even uses her unreleased survey style too. That's Not cool. The unique item in the game either, because Lego Fortnite has some secrets of its own. Thanks to a recent update, you can now use chairs and sofas as working seats. <laughs> this also includes toilets. You can interact and sit down on them, and if you wait long enough, your character will start reading a newspaper and even flush. That's funny. Houses in Lego, maybe I gotta hop back on Lego Fortnite. On We've all seen the trailer in the underworld with Sky's bean bags and Meowth's cat food. It seemed like a simple reference to Midas's gang and nothing more, but it turns out this was also an Easter egg to one of the biggest shows of all time, Dude, Breaking Bad. For another Not Breaking Bad reference. We're never but getting a Breaking Bad skin collab outside. because of how like Would mature the, the show is. How but we not notice this? Maybe we will. I don't know. Are we going to be Walter White in Fortnite? I'm down, bro. It also turns out one of the gods we unleashed was apparently Peely. Potassium what? Peels obviously fits in with the season's theme, but if you take a look at the mural of soldiers on the Pantheon, wait, room, Peely's there. It's in a little too well. Some <laughs> people even think it's Epic's way of recreating this iconic meme. If you pay attention to Davy Jones' pickaxe, it's a sword that is not his. The name is Norrington Sacrifice, and it originally belonged to this guy. This is the day that Captain Jack Sparrow almost escaped. Take him away. Davy Jones stole a sword, and I guess he brought it to Fortnite with him, too. Nice sword. Oh, wow. Did you know Epic has been secretly teasing this collab for years? Back in Chapter 3, Oh, Lotus I remember this. Log Jam Lotus. I remember it talking about this way back in the day. It's just a random decoration, except it was a subtle Easter egg to an iconic scene. Pay close attention to the bucket and telescope, and it quickly becomes obvious what this is referencing. A Disney film no one was expecting to see in Fortnite was The Lion King, and yet Epic hit a reference to it years ago. With the release of Grizz in Chapter 3, fans are blown away by oh, yeah, the emo. emote, letting you hold them in the sky. <laughs> <laughs> Is <it a> little <laughs> familiar? <laughs> Rafiki would be proud. But no one is talking about the Toy Story secret hiding in plain sight. You could be playing a regular game of Fortnite only to be wiped out by a bot. Well, that's already embarrassing. There is a chance you'll look at their name and see you falling in style. This isn't random though. Epic threw this name in the mix as a reference to Buzz Lightyear. Thank you all, thank you. That wasn't flying, that was falling with style. A more on the nose. Uh, it's a bit of a stretch, but now that Disney's uh, an owner of Epic, I can see it. Of course, this was leading up to his massive crossover, which had tons of Easter eggs. They even designed an entire... Bro, they really be, like, teasing things, like, a year in advance, and sometimes we don't see it. As for his glider, it's an emergency raft. Seems random, except it's the same one they jump out of a plane with, and Epic went even further with this raft. <laughs> That's actually That's crazy. Boy animation taken straight from the films. And yet one of the earliest Disney references in all of Fortnite is still confusing players to this day. When the game was blowing up, fans were just walking around risky reels when an iconic character ran across the screen. What was this about? Was it just promoting the movie? Yeah, I reckon Ralph just kind of said hi and never showed up again. That's this crazy. Made no sense until Ralph breaks the internet released, revealing how Fortnite was just one of his many stops across the metaverse. Ah, oh, I on see. The side, he left us an exclusive emote, the Hot Marat. And I'll finish with a Hot Marat. Uh, I don't know that's where it came from. character was one of Fortnite's most surprising Disney collabs. We logged into the Hunter season and noticed a huge POI stealthy stronghold. Oh, yeah, yeah, most of the, the worst the map, mythic in the game. <laughs> this had to mean something. Originally, fans thought this was going to be a Jurassic Park teaser, except when they pay close attention to the helicopter and a tree and the dismantled truck, a different picture was being painted. Predator. These are references to the movie Predator. Of course, he went on to become the secret outfit, and his built-in emote was an homage to the standoff scene. Man, his face is so creepy, but he's just as terrifying. He is as terrifying, bro. The Xenomorphs. One of my favorite secrets is the hidden appearance of Jonesy. All right, not that one, but instead the cat from the movie. They share the same name, and he's inside the carrier back bling, which is secretly reactive. Out of nowhere, he'll occasionally pop his head out during a game. What? It's an even rarer chance that he I didn't... falls at the air. Bro, I thought what's his name had the first cat back bling. This is a shy and I thought Rubius had the first cat back bling. I didn't know there was another cat back bling. When you deploy it, the animation looks like this 
but you don't have to deploy the cannons. In fact, if you press the shoot button while gliding, it'll activate the secret feature. It's one of the only gliders in Fortnite that do this. But oh, that's Disney sick. But lab that no one remembers appeared in chapter two. In the middle of a random update, players noticed a new weapon that was an umbrella. Oh yeah, 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 I remember this. Bro's slicing them up. Fortnite never mentioned it, and within days it was removed, yet- Within days? With the Kingsman franchise. Some people don't even know this is a Disney collab, and the same goes for Ryan Reynolds in Fortnite. He finally came to the game with the release of <laughs> This was such a random outfit and belonged to a character from Free Guy. Fans are pretty confused that they didn't give us, you know, the main character, but at least he appeared on the map taking over ATMs. I remember As that. An NPC, I've been hit by cars more times than I can even count. So get out there and make today's commute great. But what if I told you the first Easter egg in Fortnite VR history was a Disney reference? Really? Days of battery Optimus out, Prime a hero on the map made of vehicles. It quickly earned the name Truckosaurus, all thanks to the original character from The Simpsons. Please welcome the all new Truckosaurus 2. Since then, Epic has continued adding secrets, handing us one of the most famous Easter eggs in Fortnite. Over at Steamy Stacks, pink donuts appeared, and you'd have to be oh the my god, the reference. But Disney bought Fox to got their rights to another animated show, and this one got its own official crossover. Peter Griffin swept into the island with gliders like the Peter Copter, and I. <laughs> the Peter Griffin skit is so ridiculous, honestly. He also arrived wearing a gold tuxedo, referencing the time he won the lottery and wasted all his money. <laughs> one of the cool secrets is when you eliminated the boss. <laughs> That's so good, bro. Teasing this for a long time. That's so good. started working on the collab as far back as 2021 with leaked Disney documents showing it was meant to drop in the hunter season. Interesting. Since then, they teased it in chapter three with this bathtub falling from a house. I remember Top 5 Gaming was just no, 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 no. making so many videos about Peter Family Guy. He was going crazy. Crossover with Futurama and no one was expecting it. In the reveal trailer, we watch as the crew flew straight into Mega City's billboard and he called back to the show's intro. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yet when you went to the city in game, the billboard was actually smashed. Then if you went to a vending machine and talked to it as Bender, he would ask a secret question, wondering, didn't I have a baby with you once? <laughs> oh my yes, God. yes, he did. Personally, what? I was freaking out when Star Wars came to That's Florida. not family friendly. Easily one of Disney's biggest franchises, and Epic introduced us to it with Stormtroopers. Bro, the amount of Star Wars collabs Fortnite has done is ridiculous. Well, the season you watched was a secret homage to the films where sand troopers also scout the desert. Now back in chapter two, when we had a Marvel season, Fortnite did a weird promotion. You probably forgot about this, but at the time, if you purchase V-Bucks or anything in Fortnite with real money, they will give you a Disney Plus subscription for free. Oh, I forgot Super about this. Random, but at the end of this blog post, Epic signed off with, don't miss this offer, we have spoken. At the time, it was an innocent nod to the Mandalorian, with no mm. realizing this was just weeks before he we came to Fortnite. Ah. Shadowing pretty much the entire hey, we gotta read all the blog posts. There might be some hidden details in there. What's in the most recent one? That's crazy. If you went AFK with him equipped, he would use the extra time to recreate scenes from the show, like drinking soup or trying to eat the ball from Mando's ship. Although it's still not as cool as Darth Vader's exclusive secret. Whenever he's on the map as a boss, Disney will not allow him to be killed. Instead, Fortnite had to make him kneel. Either battle oh. had to add this as a workaround. But a detail you probably didn't know about Interesting. Is Darth Maul's battle pass. At the very bottom, you can spot Orabesh symbols, which translates to Order 66. Ah. One of my personal favorites was in the Vibin trailer, where Darth Vader could be seen helping a stormtrooper. He's apparently <laughs> not tall enough to ride. A reference to when Leia says, Too short for a stormtrooper. Huh? And in the same trailer, <laughs> Vader sets his sight on Peely. This is a recreation Rosa of the bully. run from A New Hope. Okay, average Star Wars fans would notice all of these, but only a small percentage of players know about Max Rebo's insane reference. When his guitar came to Fortnite, the description asked you not to play it with your feet. Went over a lot of people's heads, unless they were a diehard fan, because it- I went over my head, because I don't- Doesn't play with his hands, those are his feet. Speaking of descriptions, if you check out- I don't know Anakin anything Skywalker's about Star Wars. Spider, you'll recognize this ship from the prequels. If that's the case, you'll probably get the amazing callback message. This is where the fun begins. And I can't talk about Star Wars Easter eggs 
without bringing up one of the best of all. Back when Mando joined the game, he was hunting a certain bounty, and little did we know it was actually Peely. Bro, Peely is in everything, like bro. With the original trilogy. He's actually in everything. Yo, huge shout out to Top 5 Gaming for putting together all these Easter eggs. Fortnite has so many Easter eggs, and I'm wondering what's in the game right now that we don't even know about, and we'll find out in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.